Hey viewers, welcome to our channel You Flyer, your one-stop channel for all kinds of IELTS material and general English. Today in this video we are going to understand in detail the general IELTS writing task 1, that is letter writing. We shall also discuss the types of letters and how you can identify them from the question. So before we begin, those who are new to this channel and those who have not subscribed please press the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you never miss an update. The general IELTS is for people who want to immigrate or work in countries like UK, Ireland, Australia, Canada or New Zealand. General IELTS is generally accepted for 1. Visa and Employment Applications 2. Immigrate permanently to the native English-speaking countries. 3. Non-academic training such as practical vocational courses. 4. Education at the high school level. There are two tasks to complete in the writing module within 60 minutes. It is advised to use 20 minutes for task 1 and 40 minutes for task 2. In task 1, you have to write a letter explaining the situation or requesting information about a particular circumstance. This task is given to evaluate your potential to communicate over practical issues. We can find 7 common letter topics in IELTS. The letter will be evaluated on the basis of your ability to achieve the given task, your ability to express the views and facts with a wide range of vocabulary and a variety of sentences. The different letter topics are as follows. 1. Letter of Apology 2. Letter of Request 3. Letter of Explanation 4. Letters of Application or Resignation 5. Letter of Complaint 6. An Invitation 7. Letters to Make Arrangements for Something or Event The letters can be segregated into three following styles. 1. Formal this letter should be written to an organization, any authority or to someone who is related to the organization and you are unaware of whom to write. 2. Semi-formal This kind of letter should be written to someone who holds a position and power in society, has a right to take a decision and you have an excellent professional association with that person. 3. Informal This letter is to be written to those people who are close to you personally, like friends, family members, relatives or siblings, etc. Now let's discuss each of these letter types in detail. Formal letter Now let's dissect a sample question and try to understand the structure of this letter. Question You missed an international flight due to a problem at the airport. Write a letter to the airline. In your letter, 1. Describe what happened that caused you to miss your flight. 2. Explain how missing your flight impacted you. 3. Clearly state what you would like the airline to do. Explanation The above-mentioned letter is considered to be a formal letter as you are supposed to write a person who holds a position of power and you do not know the person by name. Let's see how should we write formal letters. Firstly, Salutation Dear Sir or Madam Paragraph 1 The reason for your writing the letter Start writing with I would like to request or inform Paragraph 2 Bullet point 1 and explain with relevant details Paragraph 3 Bullet point 2 and explain with relevant details Paragraph 4 Bullet point 3 and explain with relevant details Lastly, a concluding statement of your positive expectation Sign off. Yours faithfully. Your full name. Semi-formal letter. Now let's talk about the next category in detail. Question. You were absent from an important event held by the company you work for. Write a letter to your manager. In your letter. 1. Apologize for your absence and explain the reasoning. 2. Explain why you had to be at the other event. 3. Explain what you will do to catch up. 
The above mentioned letter is considered to be a semi formal letter as you know the person by name and have a professional relationship. Let's have a look at the format of the semi formal letter. Firstly, salutation, dear Mr. Roy. Paragraph 1 The reason for your writing the letter. Start writing with, I would like to request or inform. Paragraph 2 Bullet point 1 and explain with relevant details. Paragraph 3 Bullet point 2 and explain with relevant details. Paragraph 4 Bullet point 3 and explain with relevant details. Lastly, a concluding statement of your positive expectation. Sign off. Yours sincerely. Your first name. Lastly, informal letter. You are having a party and want to invite your friend from a different city. Write a letter to your friend. In your letter. 1. Describe why you are having the party. 2. Give directions on how to get to the venue. 3. Suggest how you can accommodate him, huh? It is an informal letter because it's mentioned in the question itself that you have to write it to your friend. Now let's have a look at the format of the informal letter. Salutation, Dear Sam, only first name or you call the person by the name. Paragraph 1 One line of their well-being and the reason for your writing the letter. Start writing with, I am just writing this letter to let you know that. Paragraph 2 Bullet point 1 and explain with relevant details. Paragraph 3 Bullet point 2 and explain with relevant details. Paragraph 4 Bullet point 3 and explain with relevant details. Lastly, a concluding statement of your best wishes positively. Sign off. Yours loving. Your first name or name of the relationship. Points to remember. Here is the checklist that you should consider before answering the general IELTS task 1 question. 1. You need to read and understand the instructions. 2. You need to identify the kinds of letters you have to write, whether it is a formal or semi-formal or informal letter. 3. Try to get your ideas clear and understand the topic which is generally stated in the first sentence of the question. 4. Make a plan before writing. 5. Remember to include the reason for writing and all the three quarters bullet points in sequence. 6. Support each bullet point with the necessary details, no one-line answer is allowed. 7. Do not write any address of the addressee or subject line or date in any letter. You can directly start with the salutation. 8. Use the appropriate language and tone while writing the letters. Use formal language in formal and semi-formal letters and use informal language in informal letters. 9. Try to use a variety of sentences along with uncommon and good vocabulary, keeping in mind not to repeat any words. 10. Finally, check all your spelling and grammar and count the words. Remember, if the word count is less than 150 words, you will be penalized. That is all for today. Hope this video will give you clarity on how a letter is written and the important pointers to be kept in mind while attempting a letter question. Thank you for watching, we will soon be back with another informative video, till then keep practicing. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.